ARB has developed an amazing twin compressor onboard air system, and TerraFlex has a mount that will protect your investment from damage and the elements. It's simple and easy to install. Before we started, we took off the front door. Just reach under the passenger seat and disconnect any seat sensors. Now this is a 2015, so it only has one large connector. Slide the red connector lock back until you hear two clicks. Then just squeeze the release and pull the connector apart. With the seat still pushed back, remove the two 18mm seat mounting bolts. Slide the seat forward and remove the seat belt bolt. That'll take a T45 torque. Remove the remaining two seat mounting bolts. Lift the seat out of the Jeep and position it so the bottom of the seat can easily be accessed. Remove the connector from its mounting bracket. Remove the two seat mounting brackets using a 13 millimeter. With the seat mount bracket removed, use a 35 millimeter torque and separate the connector mounting plate and discard. The ARB compressor mount is symmetrical and it can be mounted in either direction. When the compressor is fully installed, it'll look like this. For easier access to the mounting hardware, install the ARB manifold first using the provided 8mm bolts, nuts, and washers. Tighten them up using a 13mm socket and end wrench. The compressor needs to be oriented so that the intake side is facing the passenger side door. With the compressor positioned, Lock tight and install the eight 6mm compressor mounting bolts and tighten. Use a 10mm socket. Teflon tape and install the provided 90 degree fitting into the compressor uh, blowhole. We'll final tighten when the hose angle is established, so go ahead and loosely install the pressure line. Now is as good a time as any to install the compressor filters. Wind them in by hand. Use Teflon tape and install the straight fitting into the manifold. Use a 14 millimeter to tighten. Just don't get carried away with tightening the fittings. They can be easily stripped out. Just make them snug. If you will be using your compressor to operate your lockers, use Teflon tape, install the solenoids into the manifold. Again, be careful, fine threads and aluminum only require hand tightening. Final position the air bleed drains on the solenoids facing up so that they will face the floor when the seat's reinstalled. Remove the drain fittings with an 8mm and install the provided air drain replacement fittings. Attach the pressure line and position it so that the line isn't rubbing anywhere and so that there are no kinks. Just be careful. Final tighten those fittings using a couple of 14 millimeter end wrenches. Snug is good, just don't get overzealous and break things. Cut the provided vent drain tubing and install the Y. Any fumes from the differentials will be vented through the floor. With the line situated, don't forget to tighten the manifold. Use a couple of 10 millimeters. Reinstall the seat mounts and tighten using a 13 millimeter. There's a floor drain under the passenger seat that works great for the vent hose as well as to run your ARB lines. Carefully lift the seat back into place and install all four floor mount bolts, then final tighten. Plug in the seat belt harness and push the connectors into the bottom of the seat. There's some existing holes there that work great. Reinstall the seat belt bolt and tighten. You've got to admit, that was a pretty easy install. Enjoy your compressor.